Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Democracy 3. Uh, so we are just going to finish up our Communism Ho game here. Uh, we are almost at our term limit. You see, we've finished roughly half of our second term. A little bit more than our second term. Or, or a little bit more than half our second term. So we need to rush uh, to finish uh, implementing our communist agenda. Um, so, we want to do a few things here, uh, sort of priorities. Um, if possible, we would like to nationalize essential services. Um, and we would like to implement state tertiary education. Um, we would also like to um, implement a public broadcasting service. And we would like to... Um, course, uh, nationalize the banking system and nationalize manufacturing. Uh, so let's see, we need to build up a little bit more political capital, so we're burned through this turn. Um, we are going to prevent construction of the toxic waste dump. Uh, corporate exodus has developed. Well, this is an excellent time for us to uh, strike while the iron is hot and uh, nationalize the banking system. So goodbye, uh, capitalists. You want to flee our country? Well, we will just take all the banking and industry um, and run it ourselves. And we will reject software patents. Continue on here. Uh, so GDP was falling last um, time because of the corporate exodus, but is now stabilized to some extent. And um, now we will... Oh, we need one more turn where we can nationalize manufacturing. Okay, it is growing now. Now that we have seized control of investment, uh, there are no more um, investment strikes that the capitalists can do. Uh, and we will nationalize manufacturing. Private industry will be banned. And let's go and uh, legalize euthanasia. GDP is rising. Okay, public services. Uh, we want to get that state tertiary education implemented. And you can see very nice effects across the board by doing this. Um, free high-level education for all ensures the possibility of high positions for all economic classes. Well, we aren't really going to have any classes, are we? Because uh, we're going to be <laughs> living in a communist society where everybody is a socialist and everybody is a state employee. Uh, so there won't be, you know, capitalists and everybody else. Um, all right. Now, uh, public services. Nationalized essential services requires 4T. Do we want? Okay, let's. Mm, nationalize, okay. Okay, let's wait a turn. Almost at the end of our term. Ah. Nationalize essential services. All services. So capitalists are angry, but you know what? Screw them. Oops. Now we need... Let's see, can we do this still? Um... Okay, I hope we can get one of these in at least by the end. Oh. Well, we did manage to nationalize the entire economy, even if we didn't manage to ban private education. Um, so, hey, 88% support. Look at these stats. 
Quality up almost 70%. Racial tensions down 22%. Poor earnings up 145%. And GDP up 44%, which is pretty impressive for the US. Um, consumer spending up 27%. Unemployment down 50%. CO2 emissions down 25%. Energy efficiency up 42%. I would say we have had a all-around very, very successful uh, campaign, or uh, two years, two terms in office. Very successful eight years in office. Uh, we have completely remade American society uh, <laughs> in just eight years. So, you know, this game, you could say it's probably, uh, it couldn't be any further from reality. <laughs> if you tried to do this in eight years um, in just about any country, uh, you would probably see yourself very quickly in a civil war. Uh, but, hey, this is, a, this is a simulation that doesn't include those features. And uh, capitalists tend to be rather pacifistic and not assassinate you uh, in this game, which is, again, very, very, very unrealistic uh, because there have been plenty of revolutionary leaders who have been assassinated by the CIA and their cohorts. Um, and, and no doubt that would happen in the United States if somebody tried to radically, radically revolutionize the society in just eight years' time. Anyway, um, putting that aside, what are we going to do next? We are going to, uh, well, first we're going to retire in glory um, because we have succeeded in all our goals. Uh, but the next playthrough I want to do, I'm going to call um, a Democratic Party Neoliberalism playthrough. Uh, and essentially, I'm going to mainly implement Clinton style policies, uh, but I'm going to borrow a few sorts of policies from the Obama administration as well. Um, and we will kind of make a hybrid of those two different administrations policies. Um, we'll, you know, um, essentially our, our goal will be to, um, weaken uh, unions, uh, we are going to try to lower taxes, uh, we are going to try to reduce the, um, the uh, deficit and hopefully reduce the debt uh, to some extent, um, and we are going to try to uh, reduce the size of the military a little bit, but also introduce um, drone surveillance. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll probably in introduce um, some Obama-style uh, private education reforms and uh, also like an Obamacare-style uh, health service. Um, so like a semi-public um, health insurance program. Uh, so we're going to try to do these things um, and stay in power. So, uh, as far as like equality and stuff goes, I think that will there will be some features of our policies that will reduce any or, re or reduce inequality, uh, such as our implementation of a uh, semi-public healthcare system. Uh, but there will also be aspects of our policies that will increase inequality, um, such as our tax policies. Uh, we are going to do some welfare reforms, try to cut welfare. Uh, as Clinton did, um, and we are going to try to uh, reduce crime through the introduction of some kind of, uh, uh, you know, harsher policing measures and uh, internet surveillance and also um, probably some racial profiling policies. Uh, because Clinton uh, did um, come to power or not necessarily come to power, but but he he, he used um, scapegoating of, uh, of of urban crime and uh, of uh, of blacks basically um, to to maintain power. Um, so part of that was his welfare reform policies, and part of it um, 
was policies he didn't necessarily implement himself, but then occurred under his presidency, um, such as, you know, the, uh, like the stop and frisk kind of stuff that got going. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be like, you know, one step forward, one step back kind of approach we're going to take. So our main concern, unlike in the previous game, will not be to, um, to say, like, go all the way and implement communism or go all the way and implement some kind of libertarianism. Uh, we're just going to try to mimic Clintonite policies um, and also uh, we are going to try to uh, stay in power, not get killed, um, and serve both of our terms. And, you know, put the Democratic Party in a strong position to win another election. Um, and, you know, defeat the Republicans, of course. Uh, so, um, it should be a very different kind of game, and I look forward to doing that, and I will uh, see you next time.